like Woolwich's a community and like being around people, like, could we all like, we're all like one big family. My best day, hmm. Well, I've been there six years, so I quite a few of them. Being able to like go on a trip with school, that's fun. Like, that's more than like one day and like the camping trip. The camping trip when I was in grade 11 to the Arcade Ride Camp on Eagle Lake. We had an amazing time. It was a beautiful sightseeing day. The, we had a great view. We, had, we, did, we did lots of activities. It was an amazing time. I really enjoyed it a lot. I'd say my favorite memories were the school play, holiday happening, and chess club, even when I won the Queen of Chess Award. Um. Probably my favorite memory was the girls' volleyball team this year. It was, I think it was our second last game. It was, we dominated that game. We won pretty good. Everyone played really well. Um, and I think, I don't know, I really liked it because it was my last, one of my last games um, for Willowwood Volleyball. Um, good memories. Badminton competitions with Derek. <laughs> and then another good memory I have is when I went on a computer studies trip with Zach last semester and yeah. The good memories I have from Willowwood is doing the 30 hour Evan challenge, going on the ski trip with the school, going to, to the prom and having sports tournaments like U20 bowling and U20 dodgeball tournaments. I think it's we celebrated Chinese New Year together and we went to the Chinese restaurant um, with teachers, yeah. All my good memories in Willowood are uh, our school basketball team. I really enjoyed the time that we train together, we play games together. They all are in my family. Every day of studying in Willowood, I'm uh, very happy and I've met many good friends and teachers in Willowood. After the side just on a few because there's so many. Let's see. Um, the camping trips were all all good for me. Um, yeah, school trips, ski trip was particularly fun for me because I like skiing, I like snowboarding, I like the snow, I like the cold weather. So the good memories in Willow School is I have a lot of friends here. And I really enjoy that um, to have lunch with my friends in the school canteen. And I really miss the, the soup in the school canteen. It's really nice. I want to eat it again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell all that. And the class are all very interesting. You know, I, I like the teachers all in the school. Uh, for me, the best memories is uh, the twice Halloween um, I don't know what's that called, Halloween costume uh, party in our school. All the students and teachers wearing costume uh, to the school. Of course, I wear the costume. And, and that is really fun for the students and the teacher. Everybody uh, having fun at school. And also the second best memories is uh, having the gym class in, in, in school. Uh, our friends and the uh, teacher are having fun playing sports. Uh, for, for example, we are playing uh, basketball, badminton uh, at school. That, that's really fun. My favorite memories were when we went on the school trips to uh, China and Costa Rica. They were really fun and um, not enough people go on them. So if anyone's thinking about going on the trips later, uh, you should definitely do it. I recommend it. I think the best thing I have in, like the best memory in Willowwood is the first time I visited the CN Tower with all the new students for the first year. Uh, we play basketball and we go to uh, like many sports event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my memories. And uh, the teachers are so nice, so yeah. 
Uh, my best memory of Willowwood School is Wonderland trip on June 1st last year, which happened to be Children's Day. And I had a wonderful day with my friends. Uh, my favorite memory of Willowwood is that uh, at noon, my classmates and uh, I would share our lunch with each other. Uh, I think the best memory in my mind in Willowwood is the holiday happening. We rehearsal, we practice with teachers and my classmates, my, stu my friends, and we experience a lot during that time. We play the Chinese traditional songs and instruments to show it to the Canadian students, friends, and parents. Uh, it's a kind of special experience that I can't experience that in China. Uh, my favorite classes were uh, gym because I had my favorite teacher, Andrew, and toss was my favorite class too because I had my other favorite teacher, Adam. And we really got along together and made a lot of good memories together. Meeting all the grade 12s and going to all the field trips that we had, like um, Canada's Wonderland, um, some other ones, and just meeting new people and having fun, having laughs, um, and just having the best high school ever. Uh, what was your greatest laugh? In grade 10 English, that was fun too. <laughs> a good memory I have of high school is when um, we were all in a grade 10. And um, when the whole class sent Chef Clayton made a video. And one day we were, I guess, goofing off and making a lot of noise. And it got pretty loud. I've <laughs> 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 already got a couple warnings from the office, and we were being loud. And Jeff was trying to calm us down but we weren't coming down so then fred had to come up to our classroom he was kind of done with the warnings so that's all i'm gonna say uh at the time it was hilarious but i know fred did not think it was hilarious at all filming when we were doing when we were in film class uh and me you me ami luca and jesse were all filming this uh three students thing. Yeah, three stooges. Uh, that was a lot of fun. The good memories that I have is uh, just us goofing around with Jeff a lot in his class and um, uh, having barbecues and days where we get him his class, which is always nice. One of the best mem memories I had in high school is, um, you know, the grade 11 film class because um because because Petrelli me you me Petrelli and Daniel we created this uh an anime fight and it was like shh xyz and it gone to youtube yeah my best memories of Willowood were the concert in grade 9 making the film video with Conrad Chung and film 11 class and going to I fly to Grand Air Maths Physics 11 class well, I have to say there are um, times when I was feeling down and I can always go to the teachers and they offered me so much help and in ways that like I could never um, stop appreciating them. And that's like one of the best moments in high school to know that there are, are always people there for me. Next year, I'm going to study computing systems and physics at Trent University in Peterborough. Uh, I'm going to George Brown College uh, doing um, construction trades techniques program at Castle on my campus, and it's in Toronto. I'm planning to go to Ryerson to study biomedical engineering. I'm going to George Brown for general arts and science. It's a, it's a one-year program. For, I'm going into that program because I don't know what job I want to have yet. I'm going to Centennial uh, College and I'm studying the music program. Um, I've already accepted my university. I'm going to Laurier for honors in science. However, I don't know 
what that's going to be like next year. Everyone still doesn't know the whole university thing is um, potentially going to be online. Um, so with that, if students are going to residence, we're probably going to be doing um, single dorms, which is not what I was hoping for at all. Yeah. Um, so I think like, it's just like a hope, but I'm hoping to room with a few of my, um, my girlfriends that are going to Laurier, but everything is still going to be online. But I think even leaving my house and getting an apartment with a bunch of people will help me set up for when it's going to be back to normal. Well, I'm planning to go to University of Toronto, St. George. So I'm going to George Brown to study baking and pastry arts. It's a two-year program, and I hope once I finish this program, I'll have lots of skills in baking. Yes, I'm going to stay in Toronto. I'm going to stay at my house. So I don't have to have a residence then. Mm -hmm. Makes it much better. In Seneca College, to travel will be a civil technician, staying in Toronto. I am going to Seneca College to be in uh, fire service uh, to engineering. I'm going to University of Toronto. I'm going to University of Toronto. I'm going to University of Guelph to study water resources engineering. I was admit I was admit to management major of U of T. So. I'm going to U of T to start my university life. So originally I was just going to go right into it with online classes. I'm going to uh, electrical engineering technology at Cent not Centennial, Sheridan. But recently I've decided that I'm going to take a break if they'll let me defer my acceptance. Yeah, I already get OCAT offer. I'm really glad of that. The graphic design is my dream major. So why I chose this major is because um, uh, it's very easy to like uh, earn a lot of money after after university. I'm going to live with my parents a bit more longer probably. And then I am going to probably get a job uh, for editing uh, to get some first-hand experience. Uh, I will go into the Queen University studying for the journalism or media. Um, I'm going to stay in the U of T for the next year, few years. Um, and uh, after I get my master's degree, I would, I would uh, go back to China and help my family. Uh, so now I received the offer from University of British Columbia, and that was the university I want to go to because I really like the major media study at there. So my plan is, and uh, now my mom is finding an internship for me um, to get some jobs about media. And now I'm doing a vlogger plan on WeChat. Uh, and when I if I can go back to China, my mom will um, help me to um, like introduce something about media because she also, she work in like this kind of jobs and her friends also. So she will help me. And also when I attend in to university, um, I will study very hard. Well, I'm going to Seneca uh, in the uh, computer networking and technical support program. But it's a field that's probably going to be expanding after this virus is over because so many more people are going to be using technology and it's actually going to be one of the ones that's actually going to be increasing the job. So it's a good direction that it's going in based on the current situation. I'll be going to the Laurier Lazardis School of Business of econ business and economics first and i'm going to be studying for a bba degree there um i'm going to george brown to study um baking and pastry arts management with my best friend ani mm -hmm. um 
I can't wait to start our career together and having more laughs and fun trips and just being together. Because we've been together for now, what, like eight years? Or we've been friends for eight years and it's gonna carry on. So I'm looking forward to that. I will go to uh, U of T Scarborough. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's my dream school. And uh, and yeah. Uh, well, going to a university and let them suck the life out of me and my money too, from my wallet. <laughs> So I think I will go to the University of Toronto, study management with Brenda. Uh, after graduate from high school, I will go to my third university to study my third program. I'm going to go to Seneca College next year and, and to study computer networking and technical support in the Newnham campus. It's a two-year program. That is exactly what I wanted to study and it's my, and it's a comparative program and I am into it. It is exactly what I wanted. I'm going to study Bachelor of Science, move out of Toronto, and uh, I'm super excited to meet all these new people in the university and I am ready for the next chapter in my life. Um, what is your experience with this COVID-19 situation? So I've not go, oh, actually I went outside yesterday, but uh, before that I have locked down for like uh, two and a half months. And uh, yeah, it's very boring, boring. Yeah. Okay. So are you doing okay with it? Yeah, kind of. I'm used to it. With COVID-19, I found it boring, but I'm trying to stay positive. And so far, I'm doing okay. It's been boring. There's nothing really to do, so I try whatever to keep myself occupied. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I miss hanging out with friends. I miss seeing family members. I miss going out. What has changed the most? I mean, I guess I've become more appreciative about the days that we were able to go outside and go places and hang out with friends all the time and go to like malls, sports games. And it's not really good. And, uh, um, and then I'm hoping that after it's over, uh, that um, I'm planning to go see some friends, family, and uh, after the COVID is done. My life has changed from COVID-19 because I was going to move before summer, but now I can't because the house dealerships are closed. I am doing fine as I never need to go outside and I usually stay in the house most of the time. After the lockdown, I am planning to change houses for university. I know no one who is infected by the virus. No, what I thought of what was going on. So I didn't really have a point of view. Yeah. I, I do kind of like it because it gives um, the grade 12 students an independency that we kind of need leaving high school. It was weird not seeing my friends for a long time. It was really weird. And when you do see people again, um, you have this like mindset of, like what rules you should be following and what's good and what's bad. And it's also like you're meeting this person again because yeah. you haven't seen them for a very long time. Um, the, the also weird thing is a lot of my friends aren't even in school anymore because a lot, of, a lot are in public school. So a lot of them don't have everyday classes like we do. Um, and then just what's going on with the whole media and news almost every month there's something new and it's just crazy how different it is now versus how it would have how this news would have hit us if this covid thing wasn't a thing yeah yep that's so boring i stay at home every day <laughs> and then just sleep play games and um take online classes nothing else okay are you doing okay yeah, I'm fine. Out of all the years to have this virus, it has to come our year. Once I heard that 
this was starting that, and we weren't going back to school, I was upset and I never knew that this would have happened. And I'm sure none of the graduating class of 2020 would have expected this at all. It was kind of cool to have the first little part of March break off after, but then everything kind of transformed to sadness and nothing really picked up. I'm doing okay with online school during COVID-19 situation. I am hoping to see my friends from my previous school after the pandemic is over. Yeah, I, I stay home all day during the two months. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's been pretty rough, um, so I hate to admit it, but I can't, basically I can't like do the things that I love to do, like, you know, play badminton outside of school. Uh, the only things I can do right now is, I guess, exercise, eat, sleep, game, watch anime. Are you, are you doing okay with the COVID-19? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, for me, I think it's okay for, it's okay to stay at home and learn online because, um, do not have a big difference. I can also like, um, to listen carefully on Zoom. I think it's a good way to learn on Zoom. So I think so, it's okay for me. I'm experiencing it firsthand because I'm, I'm working. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard not seeing people, but. And I'm staying safe and I'm helping people while I'm at work, which is nice to know. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Bell, you know. That's really, really good. Uh, just stay at home, playing video game online, of course. And uh, going out for food like once a week, just buy enough food to stay at home. That's really important. Are uh, you doing okay with it? Yeah, everything is okay for me because whether it's there uh, COVID-19, I will stay at home for all the time. Well, to be honest, it's not too terrible. I guess I'm missing out on like the appointments and stuff that I would normally do. Can't go to school anymore, which kind of sucks because, well, now I can't sneak out of class and go talk to my friends in the hallway which really stinks um but i've been learning to, to cook and i've been biking and i've been even gardening it's been pretty fun um so i think i'm lucky than my peers because my mom came here to company with me he cooked for me and he always talked with me so that i won't feel very lonely and every day at home my mother and i we cook we are baked cake we like watch movies and i always play game with my friends in china well it's like there's a lot more boredom Sometimes hard to deal with all the like being lonely, not seeing everybody in person. It's been like two months now, like it's been well now that the fact that we don't actually have, get to have an actual class again in person, that kind of sucks, but it's always the same people. So I always go to the same room now for Zoom, which is when I was at school, you would move around. So it's like less moving around and like when you move around less it gets more boring because like you don't see as many people like even some of the teachers i haven't seen in like two months like that, stuff like that like interactions with people um although they have edges i get to sleep in a little later because they're off the commute but uh yeah it's definitely different well i well we don't really know because there could be a second wave of it so it's kind of unpredictable right now, but... Oh my God, it's terrible. I could stay at home. I could sleep in late. Um, what else is there? What do I plan after lockdown is over? I plan to um, get in touch with my friends and see if they want to hang. Um, see my family. Um, and 
and just go places. You know, it's like uh, it's a normal time and like even though you're in a normal situation, your emotions can go up and down like a roller coaster constantly. And in COVID, it's especially it. And um, by watching a lot of movies and maybe reading a lot, I find my peace in a way, but it's still pretty hard for me to stay at home and stay isolated especially when I really want to be with my friends because they're all going to university and I probably will not see them again. And yeah, that's the hard part. Um, so the coronavirus has not changed my life to a great extent because I am already a lazy person and I don't usually go out, so it's good. And my experience during the COVID-19 situation is the online class because I never tried that before. Like, I don't know what will happening because of the internet, because of the like some uh, troubles during the online class. But after that, I think it's okay. Like the teachers are friendly and they taught me a lot. And also for the online class, I think it's special for me. And it also saved a lot of time because the maybe the short period and uh, the effective time for teacher and us communication. I'm doing okay. As long as if I keep myself occupied, then it's gonna help me get, it's gonna help me something to do. Like instead, a couple like two or three days ago, I had to work on my math assignment and it kept me occupied. I was not thinking about the COVID life or when is it going to be over? When is it going to... I was not thinking about that. I was just keeping myself occupied. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I know one person who's a frontline worker. I'd like to thank Luca Ponzo. Because mm. he's a frontline worker. I just want to thank him. I don't know anybody directly affected, but I know someone on the front lines. Um, his name is Luca. Yes, he, he's, he works at a grocery store. Okay. Uh, and yeah, he's doing really well. I just stay home, watch movie, and play basketball at the backyard every day. Are you doing okay with it? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I can't hang out with my friend anymore. I really want to go back to school. So once this is over, I'm planning to go to my favorite restaurant and celebrate. The first thing to do for me is to eat outside. Eat outside? I want to eat hot pot and barbecue. Hang out with friends. Definitely see my friends. I haven't seen them in so long. I'm hoping to see a lot of my friends and see my family and eat good food. Okay. Well, after the lockdown is over, I, you know, maybe I plan to, I guess maybe, you know, play exercise, play, I guess, badminton, maybe hang out with my friends. I guess maybe do my drivers if, if COVID-19 is over. Probably go back to the gym. I miss that place. Probably, like, go out for dinner or, like, go partying because, like, you miss, because, like, People are going to want to be like, oh, yay, it's all over. We can party again and, like, see your friends and all that stuff. Like, being able to see people versus staying inside your house with your family members, which can get annoying. Hope it doesn't end so I can stay inside. Um, I'll probably go to university. I'm leaving home, so that's going to be fun. And what else? Go for a walk like a human being. Hopefully not without the masks and yeah. Once this everything goes down, the first thing I will do is hang out with my friends and family members. Yeah, I'd like to thank, first of all, the most important, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always for helping me throughout high school with everything. And even before high school, I'd like to thank them. And I'd like to thank teachers. I'd like to thank Yelena, Jeff Clayton. Adam, Sari, 
Andrew, because those people helped me throughout high school. Uh, and I just, they were like, they were my favorite teachers. <laughs> they, like when I was down and I didn't want to do any more work, they motivated me to do more work and continue. I would like to thank all the teachers for helping me learn those things and to be successful. So I want to give shout outs to all my grade 12 friends, my parents for helping me get through high school and all the grade 12 teachers. And I cannot wait till I see all my grade 12 friends and my teachers at the commencement. Honestly, just all my teachers this semester and like all the, the Willowwood staff, because I don't think I would have handled this COVID thing as well as I am if it wasn't for school, because school and having school this all, like this much it's helped me take off, like to help me clear my mind from things. And it really does give you something to do. Um, and the teachers at Willow would really do care because they reach out to you and ask how you're doing. And I don't know, it's really nice. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. I, I want to say thank you to all the teachers that did help my, my final year be as good as they are. And same with all the students. Like you, Ariel. <laughs> For teachers, I want to thank Steve, Rosie, and Gus. Okay. Well, Steve is my uh, favorite teacher in Willowwood, and Rosie and Gus took care of me a lot uh, since I came to Willowwood. So I really want to thank them. Yeah. Okay. What about okay. Derek? <laughs> okay, um, I want to thank Derek for the gym class because he's really good at sports, so he taught me a lot, and especially in badminton. Um, I would like to thank every teacher who has helped me get through where I am today. Thank you for helping me with all those homework hubs and after school helping and just being there to help me in class if I need to and be able to talk if I want to. I would like to give, out, give a shout out to all my friends who I have made throughout these years. Um, we encourage each other and we support each other all along the way and I couldn't be where I am today without you guys. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to my mom to helping me all along the way and being there for me always. I would like to thank all of my teachers and my parents who filled up applications for college. Uh, I have uh, Jeff to thank my teachers, all my teachers to thank, like Jeff, Alvin, uh, Maria, uh, Donna, Jeff, Jeff, Steve, Andrew. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Ben. And I would like to thank oh. uh, <laughs> uh, Ami and Derek for interviewing me and for being good friends. And I would like to thank Luca and Jesse for being good friends as well. And I would like to <laughs> I would like to think. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. That's okay. good. Okay. And Amir. Uh, I would like to say I want to thank for Guy and Rosie. Uh, they help me a lot. Um, yeah, Guy always like teach me how to uh, to think about the math question, and Rosie um, like take care of me. Thank Andrew for I guess. Andrew, Guy, and Matt, and Alvin. Um, I guess Jeff Ramage, Jeff Clayton, for and Heather Spicer for uh, helping me get through high school. Yeah, I would like to thank Ben and Ami for this interview. And I would like to thank my teacher, Rosie, Adam, Andrew, Guy, Gus, Jeff Clayton, Alvin. Thanks for teaching me and I learned a lot on it. Thanks for teaching me how to grow in failure, and I really appreciate all of that. Let's see. Well, let me just cover all the bases. 
all of the all of the uh, students at Willowood, all the teachers at Willowood. Some of them might not have been my friends, but they did help make me who I am. So I thank them all the same. Um, there are a few people I want to thank who aren't here anymore. One of them being Annika Lee, and another being uh, Stephanie Johnson, Douglas Mertens, Brooke, the teacher, uh, John Vine, the teacher, uh, Manira, just all the teachers who've left as well. I also want to thank actually nobody will know who this is because he was my grade three teacher and I came into a little at a grade five. Uh, Mr. Ludwig, he really helped me with making learning fun. All of the years before that I was, well, I have, I'm dyslexic and I have ADHD. So I found it very hard to focus and very hard to, well, read. I couldn't read until I was, actually it might have been grade three. Yeah, so he really helped me. I want to say thank you to, first of all, to all the teachers that teach me in Willowood School. And because, um, you know, at first, when I when I came to middle school, my English was not very good because I'm I'm not a native speaker. But the teachers are very like um, they teach me and they like fix my grammar and my English become better and better. And I can like communicate with you like like that right now. So I'm really glad glad of that to give me a big improve on English. And secondly, I want to uh, tell my friends. I hope everybody can get a better future like a very a very good future in it. so i will really miss them and yeah i think uh for some for some for some of my friends i will keep in touch when i when i go to the university yeah and for the for my friends still in middle school i hope they will get a very good grade and go to the university where college they want to go all right i want to give a i want to give a shout out to andy fred Joy, Jeff Clayton, um, Yelena, John Vickle, Jeff Ramage, Heather, um, Susanna, Adam. Mm -hmm. Without them, I don't think I would be able to pass high school the way I, way I did. I want to thanks for all the high school teacher and my classmates at school because they are uh, paying really uh, paying a lot of attention on me uh, to let me study well and uh, have a good relationship with other people. I want to thank um, Matt for his super fun classes. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I'd probably never learn French. Heather, for all of the many classes that she taught me. She really kept me engaged with all the questions and stuff. It was really fun. And Alvin, what a guy. Love talking to you, man. Gonna miss you. So I wanna thank my friends as well. Uh, Rowan, Conrad, Jared, Lisa, Sylvia, Aubrey, Brendan, you guys were great, and not only was it great sharing classes with you guys, you all taught me so much about myself. Yeah, I would like to thank everyone that I met in the high school, but um, I think the most special one is Rosie because she's like the mother for me in the Canada, and she helped me a lot for everything. I would like to thank Rosie for everything. 
Mm, first, I want to thank the teacher, all the teacher in the little school, because they always help me, encourage me, and cheer me up. Especially Rosie and Gus, they are the international student teacher. They always help international students to deal with their problems. And also for Zach, Fred, and Kayam, and they give me a lot of advice on my study, on uh, how to write an essay or do a presentation, um, or to just cite my work. Because English is my second language. Sometimes it's really hard for me to study this course. They really, really helped me a lot. And finally, it's Sari. She helped me to do my university's application. That's a really hard job for her. And because there's a lot of grade 12 students, she needs to put all the students' uh, grades on the OUAC and to make sure they are all the correct. And also for my friends, Christine, Wilma, they always company with me. Uh, we always make a video call for each other. And Melody and um, Tammy. Uh, I hope when we leave the school, they will also study very well. And for last year's students, I want to say thank you to Richard, because also he leave the school, he always helped us, like send us a message. How are you guys doing for these days? Do you need help? And I want to say thank you for this. And also my parents, my dog, they also support me, always support me. Um, well, I think like basically like all the teachers that I've had throughout my Willowood uh, career, um, thank you for everything that like you've taught me. Like, uh, so yeah, I think it's just thanking everybody in general for like helping me get like the support that I need and all that stuff. So. I wrote a list, so I don't, hopefully if I get everyone's name. Okay, so some of these teachers are in lower school because uh, I've been here for a while. Mm -hmm. So Melissa, Shirley, Hillary, Brian, Andrew, Matt, Zach, Alvin, Susanna, Wallace, and Jill. Did I forget everyone? Oh, Steve! And Guy, don't get mad that I almost forgot you guys, okay. <laughs> I want to thank all my friends, um, Ben, Amir, Ami, Jess, Ariel, um, Daniel, um, Robert, everyone in grade 12, and all the teachers, it's hard to name them off my head, but um, I'm going to miss them and I will um, be happy to come back and visit them. Also, all, all thanks to all, all the uh, teachers and uh, my friends like Derek, Ivor, and, uh, Nick, and uh, Alan. And uh, I want to thanks to uh, uh, Rosie and uh, Gus, Wallet, and uh, yeah, those teachers and uh, Elvin. Yeah. Okay, I want to say thank you to everyone who offered me help at, um, during like during during the COVID time, especially Jeff, you talked to me so much, and I really appreciate you for being here for me. And also Fred and Elvin, they both check checked in on me, and every teacher who is working right now and keeping uh, the communications between them and the students. I I just want to say thank you so much, and really. Um, um, I cannot imagine what life will be like without you. Yeah, I wouldn't be the same person I am today. I will thank um, all of teacher and my friends because they helped me a lot and hope them will do well in the future. And finally, I want to say thank you to Rosie, Alvin, Guy, all the teachers that ever helped me. Uh, help me during some when I made some problems when I was in trouble or problem when I was in difficult uh, some special time they uh, experienced that with me together 
I want to say thank you to these teachers. Thank you for you guys to experience me, experience with me in these two years in Willow. Thank you. I also think all my teachers have supported me to, to complete throughout high school, like Alvin, Sari, Adam, Jeff Clayton, Jeff Ramage, Zach, um, John Vickle, Steve, and many other teachers that have supported me to complete throughout high school. I want to thank my only friend, Amir, to, who have supported me to um, help me throughout high school. And, and I have really supported him here because all my teachers and friends who have supported me. So I just wanted to say thank you, mom and dad. I would thank my parents for uh, everything they did for me, like bringing me to school like every day. And um, thank you guys. I am done high school. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. We did it. Thank you.